Straight men have read it, what's unattractive in a woman? Constant negativity. One of those people that just always has to find a flaw with everything. It's okay to like stuff. Liking stuff makes you more interesting. The complete and utter inability to manage their own finances. I've got enough to stress over in my own bank account. Refusing to acknowledge someone else's perspective. When I'm on a first date, I don't mind leading the conversation. But I hate when I'm the only one asking questions. I'd love to learn about you. But I'd like to know you're also interested in getting to know me. Trying to make make the man they're actually into jealous by being flirtatious with other men. So that the man they're actually into pays attention to them. After college and getting a job, the most unattractive quality I had to deal with was when a woman presses too hard to move in with you when it's too early in the relationship. I know you don't want to live with your parents anymore, but now it seems you are more interested in a relationship with my house, rather than me. To be fair, your house is super sexy. I want to be inside it. Tells her friends everything. I had an ex that showed her friends nudes they'd sent her. Then said friend messaged me about said nudes. It was like being in a relationship with an extra person. An ex of mine was nice, and we hit it off fairly well. But, she was scared of everything. At first, I didn't mind, I was supportive and trying to help her get over her fears. But I eventually started getting tired of it. Part of me still believes to this day that she isn't really a scaredy cat, but only used it to act cute and make me be the big supportive protector man. Just, how quickly she'd switch from nervous wreck to doesn't even bother to check traffic before crossing just bothered me. I mean, what she was scared of ranged from lakes to rocking chairs to spooky nights when it's 4 in the afternoon in summer. Maybe I am an asshole, but I truly believe she would act scared whenever she wanted attention slash to get close. I don't know, I hope I wasn't being a jerk. Lack of passion, for anything. Nothing is sexier than see a woman excited and interested in something, jobs, hobbies, etc. I don't even have to like their interest but they should have some. An unhealthy social media presence. Expecting a man to bring their a game while the woman herself doesn't bring her own. Dating is a two-way street. Both people should be interested in trying to succeed at getting to know each other and making things work. Obviously sometimes they just don't. But at times I've experienced women who just expected me to do all the work, paying, giving attention, compliments, time, etc. I'm luckily happily married, and my wife brings her A-game to the table every day. Trying to be the damsel in distress and acting gullible and dumb. Same thing that's unattractive in a man. Cruelty, meanness, bullying attitude, manipulative. Poor hygiene. Stupidity they're determined to hang on to by any means necessary. Edited to add, I'll add an inconsiderate to the list, and that about covers everything else smile. Edited to add, thank you, anonymous gilder. Edited to add, ETA spelled out, for clarification. Don't talk to me unless you're taller than over 6. Then don't talk to me unless you're under 150 pounds. Edit, your, thank you multiple people. Reddit bullshit answer. When she doesn't have a nice personality. Honest answer, fat. I agree. Being fat will in almost all cases make somebody unattractive to me. I like to stay healthy and prefer to date people who also do. Smoking. I've seen some smoking hot women, I'm sorry, that just became instantly unattractive as soon as the cigarette smell wafted over. Being overweight, which is quite different from being curvy and extra long fingernails. I automatically detest women who have them. A character flaw of mine I'm willing to live with. Not initiating anything. I don't mind guys having to ask the first or second date. But after a while if you don't come up with ideas and contact me on your own. I might as well be dating a watermelon. Waiting for, as opposed to working towards. I've dealt with this far more often than I care to. Physically. I mean, I don't really have a type. Not string beans preferably. She needs to be able to take care of herself. I have a great career, well paying, great benefits. I don't want to be spending all my time and money just taking care of her. 
Now I don't mind spoiling her a bit, but I'm not there to be her wallet. If I am gone for work for a few weeks, I need to know that when I get back home, she hasn't fallen to pieces. In short, if she is not independent, not for me. Using Tinder or other dating apps is a source of an ego boost. This is a conversation I had with a woman who also agreed that she hated the app. This is what I said to her. Hmm. I think a lot of girls see this as just another social media app. Makes them feel good when they're getting a lot of matches. But in reality have no intentions of even giving dude a chance. Someone who makes fun of your hobbies or passions in life. A woman in college who I thought was a 10 tenths dropped to a zero when she thought me going to scout camp and teaching cub scouts about astronomy was a fucking stupid way to spend the weekend. 